Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I sold one of the machines from Wundhub. Uh, it's called uh, SP Eric. Uh, I guess SP stands for South Park since I see the uh, image of Eric Cartman at the bottom of this page. Um, it's a beginner level machine. Uh, it has two flags, one in the users folder, one in the root folder. Uh, but it's a very nice machine uh, in terms that um, uh, something like this could really happen in real life. I mean, it's not like one of those machines where you have to use steganography to get the, some code from an image or something like that, which is actually not really uh, realistic. I mean, it's not going to happen in real life. Uh, something like this could really happen. So it's very nice for beginnings, for beginners to solve this machine and to learn from it. Okay, so let's start. I already have this machine running here in the virtual box. So we can immediately begin uh, working on it. Okay, so um, actually before we start, let's uh, just create a folder, Eric, and uh, inside of it, I will create one text file, we'll call it notes, where, where we'll put all of our findings. Okay, so let's go to Eric here, okay. Uh, so the first thing is to find the IP of the machine. So to do that, I usually use uh, this um, command. And as you can see, I'm using ZSH uh, with the auto-suggest plugin, uh, which actually um, already offers me to auto-finish uh, this, uh, uh, this command based on my history. If you want to learn more how uh, ZSH works and how this plugin works, you can take a look at, at one of my other videos. I'm not going to explain it now. Okay, so let's do the ARP scan. And okay, since I know my system and I know my environment, I immediately see that this is the IP address of the machine. So let's uh, just uh, just uh, note it here. So this is the machine. And let's see our IP address. Okay, it's this one. So it's 192. My IP, sorry, I really can't type. Um, so this is the machine, this is our IP address. Okay, so the next thing to do is to do the nmap scan of the machine. So let me clear this terminal. So I will do nmap. And so our machine is dot four. So I will just change this to dot four. So we will scan all the ports and we will save the findings in the file called nmap scan. Okay, so let's start it. Okay, this will take a while. Uh, so since I already sold this machine, I can already tell you that there are two interesting ports. One is port 22 and one is 80. Okay, here they are. So one is 82, so SSH port. And the other one is 80, so HTTP port. But I actually didn't go through, uh, through this port. I mean, I didn't... Uh, find a solution through this port. If you guys uh, find a way to solve this machine uh, through this port, please let me know uh, in the description. So the thing I did here is that, uh, as you can see, the nmap found the git repo here. So that is very interesting. So, and this is actually the, uh, the path that we are going to take through this. But just in case, uh, I also did uh, a derb of this machine to find the uh, hidden folders. So I usually use either Derb or Dearbuster, but I know that Derb is enough here, it will do the job. So let's do this. And as you can see, Derb immediately starts uh, uh, printing some interesting folders. So it also found the Git, like nmap, but it also found there is an admin, fo admin file, uh, there is an index file here, and uh, there is this server status file, but unfortunately gives 403. And there is a interesting folder here, upload. So let's uh, let's just note this down here. And also we can also open nmap scan in our uh, in a, another tab just to have it here for the reference. Okay. So uh, let's see what what are these uh, links here so we'll open the admin so this is the uh, it offers us uh, login and password to login here and uh, 
in this other file it says just blog under construction I took a look at the uh, at the HTML of these pages but it didn't find anything interesting so I will not uh, waste your time here so uh, the only basic clue that we are left to follow is this git repo here so what I did is basically I used this uh, uh, git tools and inside of git tools there is a tool called dumper so uh, I will have to let me just open it here so there are three tools dumper extractor and finder I use dumper so let's go into that folder and as you can see it's just one shell script here so it's used very sim very in, a sim in a very simple way. So all you have to do is uh, you have to give it in the URL to the it was dot four right. So you have to give it the URL to the Git repo, and then you give it the folder the path to the folder where you want this Git repo to be re reconstructed. So we want it. Uh, so we want it to reconstruct the uh, Git repo in this Eric folder here. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, and then if we go back in our Eric folder, if we do ls, you will see that my uh, prompt immediately changes here and it uh, immediately says that there is a git repo here. Let me clip the screen and let me make this larger. Okay, as you can see, it detected that this is a git repo, that we are on a branch, master, and that there are uncommitted changes in this branch. Okay, we don't care about the changes or anything. We just want to do. Uh, we just want to see what's inside the repo. So we, if we do git status here, we'll see that there have been two files deleted: admin PHP and index PHP. So I will do git log p to see the changes, and right away we see that in the file admin.php uh, there there was a check for the username admin and password. This whole thing here. So yeah, so this is the username. This is the password for this form here. So let's uh, let's note this down in our file here. So it's admin and then this thing here. Okay, so if we go to our form now and we do admin and paste in that uh, password, yeah, it works. So we are in. Okay. So now here you start to check how this works, you to inspect this form, there is nothing in the HTML, so I won't bother you with that. So in the end uh, you have to uh, you have to you'll have to find a way to uh, upload something here. And it's very simple, this upload doesn't check for anything, so you can basically upload the the PHP reverse shell. Uh, so and also one of the things that also led me to kind of conclusion that something should be uploaded here is that because we found this upload folder here okay so uh, since this is a php file as you can see uh, this is the php site we need to download the reverse php shell so i went to pentest monkey and then uh, here is a reverse php shell here it is so let's download it. Okay, I already have it here from the previous times. Okay, so I downloaded it and I extract extracted the zip file and I will just take this uh, shell.php and I will put it in uh, our Eric folder here so that we can use it later. So we can use it right now, actually. So let's um, create a new post. Oh wait, oh, before we upload actually we have to set up this shell of course. So let me open this with uh, Sublime. So over here, two things you have to set up here. One is the IP address of our machine and the port that you want to use. So we'll use the port 4444 and our IP address was this. So let me just paste it here. Okay. Everything is set up, we can close this. Now we can upload this form. This PHP file, sorry. This reverse shell. Okay. We click upload. And uh, yeah, it seems that everything went fine. 
So now let's open the let's open new tab here and I will now start a listener here on the port 4444 and if we target now the uploads upload was it upload or uploads just upload upload uh, dash shell dot, dot php if we go here okay we see that we got a connection and yeah this is um uh, this is like a milestone and, and so we are in uh okay so let's see if we can upgrade this shell uh there was a yeah, there was a Python, so we'll, we'll use Python 3 to uh, uh, upgrade our shell. So we import PTY and then we do PTY.spawn and we select one of the shells, like slash bin slash bash. Okay, and this is who we are on this machine. Now if we go to slash home. CD Eric and take a look. There are three files here. One of them is flag, so we just get the flag. And this is it. This is our first of two flags. So we can note it down. So flag one is this. Okay, so then uh, after this, you have to basically um, you have to upgrade to root, uh, upgrade privileges to to root. So I started looking to several things here, what can be done and didn't find any other way uh, aside from this that I will show you right now. So immediately as you can, you see these two new files, backup.sh and backup.zip. And if we take a look at them like this, you will see that this backup.sh, it has the privileges. Everybody can read and write and execute this uh, file and it's on by root. But so you, you immediately think, okay, what if I put a reverse shell inside it? But because this uh, doesn't have the SUID on it, so this this file will not be run as its owner root because it doesn't have SUID on it. So if you put a reverse shell in it and you run it, uh, you will get the sh you will get the shell, but uh, it will be just like this shell. It it will be with your permissions. It will not be the root shell. So uh, that's where I kind of hit like a blockade and then I started looking for other things and didn't find anything and then eventually it occurred to me maybe this file is being executed by cron and then if it's executed by cron we will get the uh, root shell. So and I was right that's how we do it. So uh, we go to Pentest Monkey again and then we search for the bash reveal shell and this is it. So we will just, uh, let me paste it here, so we will just adapt this line to our needs. So uh, here we have to put our IP address and now we will use the port 5555, let's see. Okay, and uh, now we will uh, append this uh, bash script to the end of backup.sh and we will do it by echoing, uh, uh, sorry, so... I'm sorry, I have to copy this line again. Okay, and we will append it to the backup.sh. Let's get backup.sh to make sure that it's there. Yep, it's there. Okay, so now we'll open new terminal and we will start a listener on port 5555 and basically wait for the cron to fire that uh, script and then we will get the reverse shell. Uh, I will stop the recording here and I will get back when we get the reverse shell. Okay, so after a few minutes, uh, this is what happened. So uh, we got the connection from the machine and as you can see, we are now root so all that is left for us is to basically go to slash root and get the second flag and this is it. So we can note it down here. So flag two is this. Okay guys, so basically that's it. We finished the machine. 
if you like the video uh, please give me a like and uh, yeah see you uh, in the next machine